If politics is a sport, Mark Horver is a longtime season ticket holder. I have a total of 39 signed baseballs by various candidates. His collection ranges from the very well-known, like President Biden. Here we have, oh, you know, Bidenomics himself, Joe Biden. Uh, this one I got at Iowa City. I think it was his first stop in Iowa when he declared he was running in 2020. To the nearly completely unknown, like 2024 long shot Ryan Binkley. I was the only guy to see him, so I did kind of feel bad. <laughs> Corver's collection of baseballs signed by presidential candidates is almost a grand slam, with the notable exception of former President Donald Trump. With the Secret Service, they list, you know, a mile long list of things that you can't bring in. Of course, you know, baseballs are on that list. Iowa born and bred, Corver's hobby began in the 2000 cycle. It's close to caucus time here in Iowa. The signature was from, uh, and after high school football practice, George Bush spoke in my high school. These days, he doesn't wait for candidates to come to him. After working the graveyard shift at the local casino. My hours are 1145 to 745. He drives hundreds of miles to meet presidential hopefuls. Oh, I know Ron DeSantis has an event in Coralville, Iowa. And then after that, maybe sleep for a couple hours, and then go to a Vivek's event here in town. It's a grind and does it all while dressed to the nines. So Mark, you are the best dressed man in any room in Iowa. Why do you dress like this for the political events? The mantra that I try and live by is, you know, the world's already negative as is. Why add to it? And if I put a smile on their face just by me dressing the way I do, then, you know, hey, I did my good deed for the day. Corver's baseball collection is like his voting record, bipartisan. He's caucus for Rick Santorum and Elizabeth Warren. Uh, what I really loved about Elizabeth Warren was it didn't matter if she had 100 people at her event or over 1,000. She stayed. Corver voted for Obama and Trump. Said, I, I vote for who I think is the best person for the job regardless of party. And he believes this is all part of performing his civic duty. I believe so strongly in that if you don't vote, you don't have a valid reason to complain. And being an Iowan. Yeah, I've come to learn, like, what a true gift uh, we have in, in Iowa. I'm not exactly sure how or why that came to be, but I'm glad it came to be. Alex Tabbitt, Washington, Iowa. And I almost wore that same exact suit today. That would have been embarrassing. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.